morning, afternoon, a little confusing at the moment. It's uh, day two and a half in Billy Bow. We are on a scouting mission today. We're gonna go check out the last 12 kilometers of stage one. It's a pretty interesting finish. So we're heading out of town. So yeah, we'll uh, go out soon near the airport. It's not the greatest place to ride, but that's where the tour is coming through to finish, finish up. Uh, it's quite pretty out here. Alex is a uh, hero of the mountains already. He's claimed it. See you later, Vince. <laughs> yeah, the polka dot jersey. Couldn't resist getting some merch yesterday. Far too exciting. Where's your merch? Yeah, we got bottles. We're saving them. Ah, uh, that's the Guggenheim again. Beautiful city. We're going up to the hills, to the mountains. And uh, when we get out there, we'll put the camera on Alex's head and Taylor and I will bring you through the, the last 12 Ks. Steep climb, long descent, and then another steep climb towards the finish. Peace. So the uh, king of the mountains leader didn't make it too far. Luckily, your side will blow out on a climb, not a descent. So um, <laughs> now we got to wait till 5 p.m. for the bike shop to reopen because they're on a three-hour siesta, three and a half hours. <laughs> Such is life here. Um, we're gonna film Taylor's bike check. We're gonna load his bags on and uh, bring you that while we wait. Fences are starting to go up. It's looking very tour-like. Still a few days out, but uh, it's getting serious. <laughs> Everyone, my name's Taylor Dawson. This is my bike for the tour to the tour, the Scott Addict RC15. Trying to make the bike as light as possible with all the climbing that we have. So I have the Creston ICSL bars. For the computer, I got the hammerhead. So that'll be critical for all the different mountainous routes that we're doing. Durace mechanical group set. Then I put on the lighter crank, which is the rotor Aldo carbon with some lightweight titanium Wahoo pedals. For the wheels are EIE carbons, 45 mil deep, about 1300 grams. And on those, I have the Vittoria Corsa 28 mil tires, a little bit wider than I typically run, just given the extra weight. For the gear, I have the Tailfin Aero Pack carbon, which is about seven to 800 grams for the whole setup bag and the rack. And then with all of my gear together, about two and a half to three kilos. So the full bike weight, fully loaded, about nine and a half to 10 kilos. All righty, we're gonna dive in a Mr. Weight Weenie's uh, health in here. Taylor's got the lightest setup of all three by a long shot. Uh, Taylor, pop it open, pop the trunk, and uh, let's have a look. All right. We've all been uh, taking cues from Taylor uh, how to cut weight. What's that, puffer? Puffy jacket. How much does that weigh? I don't know, very oh, light, yeah. <laughs> Chain lube, screwdriver the rest of the tools, some spare tubes, rear light, toiletries bag, got to keep the leg, leg shaved, sunscreen, shower gel, washing the, shower the kit. Gel. That's a I lot know. of weight for you, I'm surprised. Three ounces, yeah. Water's not enough. I know. <laughs> got electronics, some chargers, charging cables, extra a passport, bag for carrying stuff around in the day, gilet. Then we got a rain jacket, just in case. I'm sure we'll get caught out in the rain at least one day. And then bike kit, we got bibs, some ASOS bibs, jersey, leg warmers, arm warmers. One cliff bar. One cliff bar, that's all I need. Should be good for 10 days, yeah. And then most importantly, Nintendo <laughs> Switch. Wait, 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 which <laughs> Nintendo Switch? This is the Nintendo Switch Lite. 150 <laughs> grams lighter than the original. <laughs> so what do you, when do you play that? That's it. Mm. Uh, when you guys are doing all your editing. I feel like it could have saved like four grams if you just threw it all in without the Ziploc bags. <laughs> that is true. And I wouldn't be surprised yeah. if you did that. That's I it. Should do. Wait. Some extra Ziploc. Oh, Ziploc, Ziploc bags. And then a uh, extra derailleur hanger. And that's yeah, all that's you've it. got basically for your life for three for weeks. For the next three weeks, yeah. And what you're wearing. What I'm wearing. Yeah. <laughs> all you need to live if you're Taylor Dawson is two kilograms of gear. How long do you think you could live like this? I mean, I guess indefinitely, right? 
Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. thanks for showing us what you got. And yeah, we'll check back in with Alex in a week or so on his Solace. And then we'll do my attic ride at the end. Hello. See the feet? Back at biking point, because Alex broke his bike. I broke it. <laughs> <laughs> Think about that, baby. Better than upgrade. <laughs> Sick. And uh, yeah, I think I should go back home and get my polka dot T-shirt. And be a one in the climbs today for sure. <laughs> All right, we're back where we were three hours ago. So, hey, 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 hey. And uh, we didn't change tire. Alex's uh, Solus e-bike showed up. He's a very happy chappy. And now we're gonna do the course recon. Luckily, it stays light till about 10 p.m. out here. So we got plenty of time. Come show us your sexy bike, Alex. La la la. I've only ridden an e-bike once for like 20 minutes. You know what you're doing? This is a very nice e-bike. <laughs> this is a very nice e-bike. <laughs> so, he's all giddy, like a goat. Uh, except he hasn't got his 50 pounds of gear on it yet, so a couple of days time he'll be It'll be uh, a little quieter. <laughs> Taylor's trying to keep up with Alex on the e-bike. <laughs> We're taking the most direct route to get out there so doing some steep stuff it's cool the city is really a lot of fun to explore it's not a big city but I feel like it'll still take a long time to figure it all out it's by far the happiest I've seen Alex on this trip maybe ever new bike day <laughs> so did you give up on racing Alex yet a couple more digs I'm well, not even playing these games. This is all like 10% or plus. This is way too much. Early days. Got uh, three weeks ahead of us. Let's check the maps here. Straight down, that's called the Peak Pike. We don't know how to say it, but let's put this on your head, Taylor. Okay. Have some fun down here. Definitely gonna be the most action this town sees pretty much yeah. ever. The tour has never come to Bilbao, so this town's definitely not seen too much of it. There's all the paint already on the on the climb there. People are excited. I'm getting oh, really yeah. excited now. <laughs> all right, let's uh, let's put the camera on Alex, keep him under control behind us. <laughs> and uh, to Alex, uh, Taylor, and I will uh, retrace around and have a chat about what might go down. Reconning stage one, the final 12 kilometers. It flies down this road, heading this way, so it's super fast kind of descent. And then it takes a left at this roundabout and gets really, really technical and narrow. So it's a pretty dangerous looking 12K run into town. And they're gonna be coming into this at like 65K an hour. Probably have the whole road open there to take the corner. I, I'd hope so, because this is way harder coming around. New tarmac here, maybe uh, yeah. that was uh, done just for the tour. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be chaos. <laughs> so everyone's gonna be fighting for position if the peloton's still together. Cause this climb is really, really steep. Yeah. Uh, what's the average and what's the distance, if you remember, Taylor? Uh, 
two Ks total, but the first K is like four or five percent. So average of 10 overall. So that last K is like 12 to 15 percent. Yeah, the last yeah. 500 meters is over 15 yeah. percent. It's a kind of a climb of two sections. There's this one here under the, this little bridge, then it flattens yeah. out and then the real climb kicks in. Yeah. It's a pretty hilly stage up until here, yeah. especially for a opening week. There's a lot of climbs in this week. Yeah. Three categorized climbs in the last 30K, so. Wow. <laughs> What's the yeah. overall elevation for this one? Yeah, overall, I mean, 180K total and then 3,300 meters. What's that in feet yeah. for our Americans? About 10,000 feet. Jeez, it's like a big so, day for us. That's yeah. just day one of the tour. So, not so, a day for the sprinters. Not I mean, really. I think, could be Alaphilippe. Could be Wild if they let him go. Yeah, Michael Matthews. And he's racing the tour yeah. this year. This is also not the final climb. This is the final categorized, right? Yeah. There is one Let's more climb this. we'll be hitting right up before the finish. So, yeah, you're going to see a lot of sprinters get shelled. Yeah. This one will cause a lot of destruction, though. Yeah. Okay, there's a lot of. He's a Gary brother. A, a lot of names that could win out here. Yeah. Stage one. This is rough. Clearly, Landa is a local favorite. <laughs> Hola. Landa. 18% around there. I'm curious what this downhill is going to be like after this. Nice ones on the way down here. Oh, eight second oh. bonus. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> you see those time bonuses up here? Yeah. Eight, six, four. Negative 3% at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, the thing is it work up here. If you're solo here, this is a lot of work. It's true, it's true. Headwind as well right now. Yeah. We'll be finishing in the evenings yeah. and we got the coastal wind coming, so. Right, it gets a little more windy down here. Yeah. A little bit twisty, oh, yeah, but they look some... open, you know. Alright. Gotta merge on the main road. Yeah. Wow, tricky less. We're up to 65 k an hour. I'm sure they'll be going to about 80 on the steepest parts of this descent. So this is where we drop into the city. And uh, yeah, no traffic on race day, but today we're yeah. gonna have to take it a little easy. This is giving me some Milan San Remo vibes. Yeah. Coming to town, it's all flat. And this is a, oh, I just love it when they race through the city. Yeah. This is a nice uh, big wide cool. boulevard, so it's a good one to go fast on and be safe still. So. Oh, it says it's down here. Luckily we've got the hammerheads because yeah, it's a very confusing. That's a interesting turn. And then we're right down on the river. Oh wow. That's a kind of a tricky left there. Yeah. I was pushing into it and <laughs> it, it just kind of just falls away a little yeah. bit. You can definitely find yourself on the curb. Big curb too. And it's not the <laughs> smoothest. Everything else yeah. has been really smooth. Yeah. This is such a beautiful city. This yeah. is like dream stage to win. Get the That's yellow. Awesome. You get to finish up here with all these amazing TV yeah. shots. There it goes. 1K. I wish we could swing right over. Yeah. Close roads. This is definitely a big chain ring finish. Yeah. I think it's gonna get steeper here though. And the uh, big question is do you 
try to get away up on the climb or you save your last match for the sprint? I think the sprint, if it's together, this is so fast. That is true. Such a draft. All right, I thought this was gonna be the top of the climb, but the road still angles up. Just in the e-bike brakes. Oh, he's in the big chain ring already. He's ready Been in the big the hole. You were up the whole way. A full recreation of the finish. So the finish is only 150 meters from here. I don't really really start see sprinting. Where I don't know exactly where the line is, but I'm pretty sure we're here for the tour. So yeah, whoever gets there first gets the yellow. under the tape. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that'll be an interesting finish. Oh. <laughs> um, oh, we dropped the e-bike. Yeah. <laughs> half that on that max speed. Yeah, it only goes 15 and a half mile an hour. Oh yeah. So there is no there's no flat, it's an uphill finish the whole way. Yeah. Not super steep, but that is not one for the sprinters. Yeah. Even if they're there, it's a little steep for them. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna make it that far. This is like yeah. a classic man or a, yeah. a Michael Matthews type man. Oh. Alright guys. Next time uh, you see us in this area. The real champions will be coming through. <laughs> I'll have to give the jersey over to them, of course, but um, I'll be happy to do that. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, we'll see you uh, in the next episode. Time for him to catch his breath. Uh, back at the apartment, end of the day, 8 p.m. Super fun. We've got a lot of edits to do. <laughs> you got a lot of edits. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We've only got one computer, man. I'd love to help. Yeah, what a cool... Uh, well, final 12 kilometers. If you want to watch the entire final 12 case, it's about 30 minutes long. We'll put that up as a separate uh, episode right after this one. Thanks for following today. How do you like the new e-bike? It's fun. Yeah, it definitely takes a little getting used to. It's just, you know, a little different, but a little heavier. It's, it's, it's a good time for sure. But yeah, big smile on Alex's face. The bike looks sick. Uh, first time with an e-bike, the Solace it's brand new from Scott. And Looks perfect for the job. We'll put some road ties on tomorrow mm -hmm. and you'll be going even faster. Yeah. All right, see you guys later. Oh yeah, P.S. I just checked uh, Blaine's Instagram. He's not racing the Tour de France this year, so uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. I really need to. I've been working so hard to make this trip happen. I haven't really been watching any of the racing or uh, keeping up to date. So time to hit the, uh, hit the books for me. And uh, yeah, it was nice to get the first yellow jersey of the tour. Uh, <laughs> I'll hand it over to uh, who's gonna win it? Well, got a good shot for sure. Yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs>